Princess Catherine wore a brooch that belonged to late Queen Elizabeth, attended the 2023 National Service of Remembrance at the Kenotaph in London, but eagled. Eyed watchers would have noticed a special meaning behind her jewelry. The Princess of Wales stood on the balcony of the Foreign Office, overlooking the Kenotaph, where wreaths were laid by King Charles and Prince William. For the solemn occasion, the stylish royal stepped out in an ensemble that was equally as elegant as it was respectful. Catherine rewore her black military-style Catherine Walker coat with a high collar and tassel detailing, and accessorized with a matching Philip Treacy hat, a red poppy, and her Royal Air Force pins. The mother of three rounded out her Remembrance Day look with black gloves, a polished side bun, and smoky eye makeup. But what really caught everyone's eye was a pair of statement pearl earrings she's never worn before. The posts, which featured a massive pearl in the middle, surrounded by three leaves at the top, looked strikingly similar to a diamond and pearl brooch that once belonged to Queen Elizabeth. The sophisticated pairing proved her penchant for combining modernity with timelessness, all while staying wholly appropriate. On X, formerly known as Twitter, royal fan pointed out how similar Catherine's earrings are to a brooch once belonging to the Queen. I think that the Princess of Wales is wearing earrings from a same demi parure to Queen Elizabeth's diamond pearl leaf brooch. The Queen wore the statement brooch, containing three large pearls surrounded by diamond leaves, on her 73rd birthday during a visit to Seoul in South Korea. Pearls were the late Queen's favorite, and she received a triple strand from her father, King George I, for his coronation. The Queen's stunning brooch features three pearls placed in the center of a paved set leaf, made partly from yellow gold. Following the death of the matriarch last year, Catherine has been in the spotlight more often, as she was promoted from her title of Duchess of Cambridge to Princess of Wales. This wouldn't be the first time the Princess of Wales has personalized a piece of jewelry from the royal collection. In 2019, the then Duchess of Cambridge wore a pair of diamond and sapphire earrings, once belonging to Princess Diana, to attend the National Emergencies Trust launch. After inheriting the priceless earrings, the royal turned her late mother-in-law's earrings into shit drops, where Diana once wore them as studs. Catherine first wore the piece alongside Princess Diana's diamond and pearl drop earrings for a trip to Belgium, where she and her husband, Prince William, visited the Commonwealth War Graves Commission's Tynecott Cemetery in 2017. In November 2022, Princess Catherine also honoring Princess of Wales, as she wore a pair of Princess Diana's earrings, the South Sea Pearl Earrings, which feature an intricate array of diamonds that drop down into a large pearl. Princess Diana often reached for the sparkling set for formal events through the 1990s, though Vogue reports that Kate tweaked the pair. Prince William and his wife, Catherine, Princess of Wales, attended the annual Festival of Remembrance, run by the Royal British Legion, at Royal Albert Hall on Saturday to honor the fallen soldiers from Britain and the Commonwealth. Princess Catherine showed a more relaxed way to adhere to the respectful all-black dress code earlier this week when she met with army guards in the lead-up to today. Previously, a source told us weekly that Kate now wants people to see her as a strong leader, someone who's capable of taking the title of queen into a new generation. She's in a new phase of her life, and she wants her image and actions to reflect that. Princess Catherine used to portray the perfect feminine wife, mother, and caregiver. Now she wants to be seen as a powerful and kind humanitarian leader. The royals stood together on a balcony at the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office during the service at the Kenotaph in Whitehall, London. Former UK Prime Ministers, including Liz Truss, Boris Johnson, Theresa May, David Cameron, Gordon Brown, 
Tony Blair and Sir John Major were also present. Among them were Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Leader of the Opposition, Sir Keir Starmer. Meanwhile, across the pond, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been paying tribute to veterans in the U.S. and around the world this week.